when you're telling your story, it's always good to have a story. So if there is some sort of a narrative that you can work for that, if there is something's going to happen in a week, something else is going to happen in two weeks, um, by the time we finish with this particular crowdfunded campaign, we're going to be doing X and then we're going to have this. Those are all things that are very important when you're mapping out your strategy to look at. Um, so figure out what are the key messages, who are the key audiences for that. Um, and then, you know, you don't even have to use all of your eggs in one basket. So maybe one's a PR Newswire release, maybe one's a tweet here and there, maybe something is happening in a LinkedIn or a, face, a Facebook group. So there's various ways that you can do that to not only build up the, the journalist interest, uh, but the influencer interest and the user interest, who's, who's going to you know, ultimately be the customer for that product. Um, maybe you're tied in with an event. Maybe there's an event coming up that you think has some specialty to what you're doing. So when you have a story, it's really best to sit down and figure out what are all the angles um, is there an event calendar that you should be looking at to see? Are there conferences or things that I should tie up? Do I want to do a Showstoppers press event? Uh, is this announcement that's best made in the, in the U.S. or in another market? Um, are there you know, key social folks out there that this is a story they're going to love and they're going to be able to pick it up and tell it for you? Build those relationships, wrap it around, get your strategy done early.